Cool. I'd like to see how this guy wheels himself out of this one. I'd like to see how this guy rolls himself out of this one. This guy's having a really bad time. Bully, 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 bully. If you've not seen this man, well, what you, you've missed some extremely exciting times on the internet. So this man, his name is Drew. Andrew. Andrew. He's a senior HR business partner at... Hello? Oh, sorry, that's getting a phone call. Fuck off. Exposing pedophiles. So he was exposed because he tried inviting a 14-year-old little child to his home. Now, if you're a little bit confuzzled, I am too. Um, firstly, don't, you know, how how do people still fall for this shit? And it's like, it's don't get me wrong, like, you're a scumbag if you think this is, you know, you know something you should do. I, I'm pretty sure you've got to be pretty thick to fall for this sort of shit anymore. You know what I mean? If you speak to anyone under the age of, like, 18, I'd say, and they say they're under 18, I think you're in pretty big trouble. In the UK, I think it's actually 16 is the legal age of consent. I might be incorrect, but I don't know. But he's a human resource idiot, basically, one of them people who asks you how you're feeling and, oh, are you really upset with work? Okay, well, I don't really care, but will you just write it on this piece of paper and I'll put it in my desk the where, you know, the rest of the stuff is and you look under his desk and it's just a trash bag full of scrunched up pieces of paper. This is the type of guy I, I think he is. So let's let's investigate this um, this man who's having a re really bad time. Do, do you enjoy these jokes about being wheelchairs or not? I feel like they're a bit harsh, but at the same time, it's also like he's a nonce, you know? I came here to have a conversation with you, man, because obviously you understand what you're doing, right? Just before we get into this, shout out to people versus preds. I mean, shout out. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But keep doing the good work, boys. I mean, they should make comic books out of you guys. You know, never mind Batman versus Superman. People versus Preds. Also, can I just add, though, what was this guy, like, hoping to happen? Because he's, you know, in a wheelchair. I just wonder, what was it like from the belly button? Is it weird? What am I? Do you think it's weird? Is it weird? I think, I think it's a perfectly normal thing to ask. You know what I mean? What, what was he hoping to do? Can this boy perform acts in, like, you know, sexually stuff? You know? It's a fair question, but I'm curious. I'm, I just want an answer. Yeah. So can we talk about this or? Yeah, dude. Sorry, okay. Where, where, where do you Where do you want to go? Uh, in the living room. You want You want to have a conversation? Yeah, dude. Whatever you want, man. This guy's just quite almost like la la he's laughing. You know, he finds it funny. He's like, "All oh, right, <laughs> you've caught me." Oh, you've killed me. I'm going to put on my nitrous and fly away. Him and Stephen Hawkins will be having absolute parties when they both reach the staircase to heaven. My God. Oh, I suppose, no, the staircase down to hell, actually. Yeah, they're both going on. They're both pedos. Sorry, I forgot about that. Like, okay, so I'm filming, so you can't say that I hurt you, ask you for money, any, anything like that, okay? Yeah. You understand that I'm, I'm not the person that you invited? Now he looks a little bit nervous. ...it over here tonight? You understand that yet? Yeah. Who, um, so, how old was the person that you did invite over here tonight? Uh, he said he was 18. Really? Yeah. Would it surprise you if I have the whole conversation, Drew? And honesty is obviously your best policy. Yeah. You don't want to talk about this? No, my roommate's on his way here right now. So do you want to talk about this or no? No, I don't. Okay, dude. so you just want me to go outside and call the cops? No, you don't need to call the cops, dude. You don't need to call the cops, dude. Please, I swear, I'm a good guy. I know I'm in a wheelchair, but I wasn't going to do anything. I can't do anything. You know, this guy, he's clearly um, felt like he was invincible, I feel. You know what I mean? I feel like this guy has basically been trying to do this for a while, shall we say. And the fact that he's in a wheelchair would probably, uh, you know, wouldn't get a second look at. You know what I mean? And so people would not presume or... Or think and the fact that he's quite some senior HR dude or whatever and he does all this that and the other it just makes you think who else out there that you can't trust worth thinking about boys my roommates already on his way what, what's your I roommate? told them I told him what I, I already told him that what'd I you tell him dude do you want to talk about this or no Drew this is a pretty serious situation, don't you think? It is, yeah. I told my roommate. See, I thought that's you were another thing I can't stand. He's like going to start pulling this card out. Like, oh, he's trying to get me. I'm going to attack me. There's someone here. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean his poor roommate's going to be very upset when he finds out his roommate was a 14 uh, year old nonce finder. I mean, ugh. Ugh. Makes you actually feel a bit ill. Like, thinking about it, like, what was he going to have this 14-year-old boy do to him? Like, I don't think he was going to get him to, you know, fucking cook him tea or read him a book before bed. Uh, you know, hey-ho. Then he's pulling the disabled card, you know what I mean? It's like the black man card, you know what I mean? They all pull it out when some shit goes wrong. He's like, it's because I'm fucking... It's because I'm in a wheelchair, isn't it? Do you think I was going to be this fucking 14-year-old because I'm in a fucking wheelchair? I'll fucking show you, mate. I'm calling the cops on you. Get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of shit that this guy's going to start doing. He's going to pull the wheelchair. And you want to know the 
worst thing. This guy probably won't even go to jail, you know. He probably will never go to jail about for this. Firstly, probably because he's disabled, I have to admit. Secondly, because I think he wasn't caught in the act. In the UK, it's like this. If you haven't done anything, you can get probation, which basically means if you walk within a, you know, a mile of a school or something, you go into jail. Or if you, you know, you do something, you message anyone under the age of like 18, you're off to jail, like for both counts. So you get done for the previous one and this one. But like, I'm not sure what it's like in America. Obviously, most people just get shot over there. So who knows? I want to have a conversation. Can we talk about this or no? Yes. Okay, cool. Dude, you don't need to call the cops. No, I'll call the, I'll call the cops. No, you don't need to call no, I'm the a, cops. No, I'm gonna call the cops. You want me to go outside? I'll call the cops. No, you no don't problem. need to call the cops, dude. Right. So man has been caught, but don't worry. It's truly just sad, isn't it? I, you know, this, this guy's been on this and... Well, it's not sad, is it? But, you know, the sad thing is, what would have happened if it wasn't these fake people uh, doing that? It is it's a horrible thing to think about. If you've got little, you know, nieces or family or something like he's in real big trouble. <laughs> I said that. I said that. Look, uh, we'll... Because I saw another video. I fucking can't find it. Oh, yeah, look, though. So he's fucking... Look at him. Fucking Stephen Hawking. Sex slave Caribbean island. Doubt that very much. I was gonna say though, if you were in a wheelchair, what would you do? Like, you know what I mean? If the police came, it's not like you can fucking escape, you know? Like, you get what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, surely you'd be thinking, oh, this is something smells a bit dodgy here. How are you gonna get out of it? You can't get out of it. You're stuck. He's not walking away from this one. Man in wheelchair gets arrested after trying to meet 14 year old kid. So look, Drew, you're in trouble, mate. And rightly bloody so. I uh, just, every day seems to get so much worse to be a human being being done it it just it really does and now even people in wheelchairs are starting to become scumbags like you know what i mean you think a person in the wheelchair you could just like look past it oh, i'm sure he's pretty normal he might not be able to walk but it's not going to do anything dodgy nah bro check his hard drive check his hard drive that would be my advice two monitors dusty by the look of it water bottle pink and blue Oof, man's crying out for help crying out for help but yeah thank god for people versus pedos what a great bunch of lads they are exposing people don't matter if you're white black disabled normal they will come for you and they will find you but yeah i'd love to see him wheel himself out of this one he's in really big trouble ah god i'm sorry but yeah if you uh enjoyed the video thank you and take it easy this man i don't like how he's smiling as well i'd keep what like he's smiling you know what i mean like he's looking at him like smiling like hell yeah like, i don't know if he's nervous or what but he's like smiling almost feeling like he's not going to get caught or nothing's going to happen like i don't know i don't know i don't like that though he should be really fucking nervous and you know that sort of thing i just don't like his overall attitude it pisses me off it looks like he, he doesn't care and thinks he's going to be all right he, i think he knows he's going to be all right because he's in a wheelchair and i think even if he wasn't in a wheelchair i think he'd probably be all right because you have to get caught in the act don't you hey ho here you go thank you very much good night good luck